Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. So today we're in our AV8B and looking at the radios. Now the radio in the Harrier is absolutely immense. I've just been uh, researching it. Uh, definitely my favourite radio so far. So to give it a good thorough test out, let's see what we're going to do. We've got a Harrier here. We've got uh, Kutesi Airfield here. So we're going to do some tests to talk to Kutesi Airfield. If I click on Kutesi Airfield there, here are the tower frequencies. 41 uh, VHF FM modulation. 134 VHF AM modulation, 263 UHF AM modulation. So I'm just going to write those down now so we can test them out. Okay, that's the tower. Uh, next, we're going to put a chap in. Here's our chap. He's a uh, tank or something. And he is currently transmitting on frequency 40 VHF uh, FM modulation. And he's uh, transmitting that wave sound. Uh, that wave file that I've selected. Okay, now let's go to the Harrier itself. Uh, if we click on our Harrier, go to radio presets. We've got three radios of interest. Uh, VUHF Radio 1, VUHF Radio 2, and whoops, and VUHF RCS presets. Now, from my experimentation, RCS, I'm wondering if that's a typo and it's actually meant to say RSC, the radio set controller. I'm not sure, but we're going give to it, give it a try out anyway. So, uh, radio one, this is where we change our presets, by the way. Radios, 99% of the time, you're going to be using presets in any aircraft, especially the older aircraft. And it just so happens in the modern aircraft, you've got the ability m to manually control them as well. We'll look at that as well. So, VHF radio one, why don't we put in channel three, uh, the tower, VHF, maybe I should do a bit of... Uh, a bit more of explaining. So there's two basic bands in uh, modern combat radio, VHF and UHF, very high frequency and ultra high frequency. VHF spans from around 100 to, I'm just doing this very roughly off my top of my head, I know it's not quite right, uh, around 100 to around 150. And the UHF spans from, I think, about 225 up to about 400. And VHF, uh, that's in the AM modulation, VHF in the FM modulation spans from about 20 to about 80. And this is all megahertz, by the way. Just, let's just give you a rough idea of what these bands and modulations roughly cover. Okay, uh, so let's hit to it. So in Radio 1, in Channel th Preset 3, I'm going to put... Uh, 134, which automatically puts it into the AM modulation because of its value, uh, and it's in the VHF uh, band, and radio 2, just to test, we're going to put channel 3 into uh, the tower, which is 263 UHF, that's the AM modulation again. Uh, I know it says AM here, but ignore that. If you put it down to between 20 and 80, it would automatically be FM. I think that's just a little typo again. Okay, and as a little tester as well on the RCS, just to test that out, let's go channel 3 and let's put 134, which will be AM modulation VHF band. Okay, I'm just going to quickly write that down so I don't forget them. And now let's go in and test our Harrier. Okay, so now we're in our Harrier, let's do a quick tour. So we're going to start down here. This, what I'm framing roughly here is the AC NIP. In fact, it says it there, AC NIP. This here is our VHF UHF radio set controller, RSC. This here is radio one on the UFC. This here is radio two on the UFC. A quick look over the controls. Radio one, <clears throat> volume, mode control on the mouse scroll wheel and engage with the left mouse button. Exactly the same, but on radio two, and we'll go over that a little bit later. On the RSC volume, and we've got squelch off as well, but I can't seem to get that to work, um, so it may not be working at the moment. Master mode on the RSC. Uh, I don't know what ZRO is. Off is off, test is test. Tur plus gur, that means you can uh, use transmit and receive and listen to guard at the same time. Just transmit, receive. ADF, Automatic Direction Finding, is something that I'm really interested in. Uh, so far, everyone's told me the Harrier does not have ADF, Automatic Direction Finding, which is something I'm into at the moment. Um, so I'm going to research a little further after this video. Uh, anyway, that's a type of navigation, not really communication. And Change Preset. Uh, so we're going to list, uh, leave it in TR, just Basic Transmit Receive. That's a basic radio mode, okay? Uh, we've got two controls here, Auxiliary Mode, uh, Pointer, and 
switch. I can't work out what they do. Next, we've got the uh, frequency mode switch. Uh, most of these I don't understand. This and this I don't understand. I get the feeling they're not. They don't work anyway. MAR, I'm not sure. Preset allows you to change, uh, go through your various presets. I believe that we saw earlier. In fact, we can test that now. By uh, this is the channel the preset number, and here is the frequency associated. Let's see if channel three is as we set it. And there it is. We set channel three as one three four am on vhf and there and that's it there and we can use that now okay next is manual mode if we want to override and choose our own manual mode next is guard which is naturally 243 121 one, i don't know what it is it's just a frequency that i'm unaware of in the harrier and we have our knob here to change channel or frequency which we'll look at later next the acnip i don't know what the sounds for if anyone does please let me know lots of stuff here that's uh, essentially irrelevant um the Harrier, the real-life Harrier, has lots of um, controls for encoding radio, encryption, IFF, that kind of stuff. And now this kind of stuff isn't modelled properly in DCS, at least at the moment. So most of this functionality of the AC and IP is not going to be functional. So let's have a quick look. KY, I believe that's the deciphering, uh, the ciphering and deciphering of the radio. So you've got all these switches here to decipher and radio. That's not modelled as far as I'm aware. IFF, you've got a way of doing IFF again, that's not modelled as far as I'm aware. Intercon system here, I've not tried using it because as far as I'm aware, at the moment at least, you do not need to use the intercon system in the Harrier, but here it is if you need it. We've got again, a ciphering and deciphering codes, again, not modelled. Program, unsure, but it's very possibly, uh, I can't work out what it does, but I don't think it's modelled. This here is the only switch that I'm interested in, in the ACNIP. It's the mode, it switches between UFC and manual. If we want to use the UFC radios up here, which we will, we'll keep it to UFC. If we want to use the RSC here, the radio set controller, we'll turn it to manual. So first of all, we'll use the radio set controller here to, uh, to talk to the tower and whatnot. And then afterwards, we'll use the uh, upfront controllers, the UFC. First of all, I want to show you that because we've tuned nothing in at the moment, we won't be able to talk to the tower. Before we do that, we've got to look at the controls. We're going to go to search, com, basic, two basic com buttons, com forward, com aft. These are on the HOTAS. Select, and um, we've got com one and com two. Com one is for radio one, com two for radio two. Uh, I've changed the bounding here, so my com run one is right alt and four backslash, which is, makes it the same as my other planes. I haven't bound com two, I suppose I should do, so let's put left alt and backslash. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do, we've got it in manual mode, so on the ACNIP, so it's selected the RSC as the uh, selected radio of, of control. We're going to do a com one test, uh, right alt backslash, we're going to ask for a taxi to the runway. And we should get no reply because we've not tuned anything in. in field one, one. Request taxi to runway. Well, technically, we are tuned into guard 243, but there's no a tower on that frequency. And you can see no response. Good. Right, the next thing is we're going to use a preset to talk to the tower. So we're going to go over here to preset. And we can change these by mouse scroll wheel up and down and we're going to change to preset 3 which is our 134 alpha mic VHF and now we're going to try talking to the tower right alt backslash talk to the tower Kutasi in field 1-1 one, one. request taxi to runway we should get a response this time stand by one, one. lovely beautiful Right, next, we are going to manually uh, uh, set a code. So we're going to go to manual mode, and we're going to set... Um, I, I would like to show you 263, but to scroll all the way to 263 is going to take forever. So we're just going to scroll to 234 again, as it's not going to take forever. Presumably, we can also use the FM modulation on, on this. I'm not going to try it, because it would take forever to scroll all the way down to uh, 40, which our uh, FM guy over there is transmitting on. Um, but presumably, it would work. Uh, if anyone knows a quicker way to scroll, please let me know. At the moment, all I can do is scroll like this. It takes forever. Right, 133.909. That's close enough to 134 to pick up 134. Let's try again. Right alt, backslash, 
Uh, abort takeoff. Kudasi, in field. One, one. Abort takeoff. There we go, and then if we just prove that it's not a trick, if we scramble it, scramble. We'll try that again, right alt, backslash, request takeoff. Kudasi, in field, one, one, request takeoff. And we've got nothing. Right, next we're gonna move up to the upfront control, the UFC. So we go ACNIP to UFC, and we're now selected to these. Uh, so these are a little different, but they're super easy to use still. Um, so we're going to go Radio 1. Uh, basically, they're both the same Radio 1 and Radio 2. I really only need to cover one and just accept that we've got two radios that we can use, essentially. Uh, so Radio 1, I'm going to mouse scroll wheel on this button here. We get to choose a manual mode, uh, that's where we can type in our own frequency. We get to choose E, E means emergency, or guard. I currently selected guard for the Harriers 243. Um, and we've got our presets 1 to 26 that we preset in the mission editor okay so why don't we look at uh, guard first it's going to be easiest it's 243 all we've got here is whether we want squelch on or off all that all squelch means is it gets rid of that sound in the background uh, I haven't actually looked at these options so let's have a little look and all we can do is transmit receive on guard so that's fine that makes sense uh, next we're going to look at manual mode uh, no in fact let's look at the preset mode next so we're going to scroll to preset uh, three just looking at my notes which we set to one three four there it is one three four alpha mic vhf so this will allow us to talk to the tower first of all let's have a look and set settings we've got plain cipher or delay plain is what works cipher doesn't work it's code ciphering it's not modeled in dcs delay is a type of ciphering i believe and that's not modeled in dcs Squelch again, and we've got transmit receive. Transmit receive. I know you can't see that because my weird track AR, but plus guard, so you can transmit receive on one three four and monitor guard one two three two four three, and guard on its own, uh, which is two four three. So we're going to leave that in track receive. We've got a volume here. That's all I want to show. And now I just want to show that we can tr transmit through this. So we're going to go right. Oh, and backslash. Request takeoff. Kudasi, in field. One, one. Request takeoff. And beautiful. Next, we're going to go and try the manual mode. So, where is it? Where have you gone? Manual. Right, uh, so this allows us to choose anything. So, why don't we try something in the UHF? So, the tower is 263 Alpha Mike UHF. So, 263 Enter. There we go, and we notice we've got some extra options. So we've got the deciphering there, the squelch there, transmit, receive, transmit, receive, plus guard or guard. And here, because it's UHF, and UHF, um, the modulations AM and FM overlap. VHF, they don't overlap, they're on separate band, if you like. Um, UHF, they do overlap, so I can choose AM or FM here on when we're in UHF. So that's something that appears when we're in the UHF uh, frequency band. We're in here, we've got, we've selected 263, we're all good to go, right? Oh backslash let's talk to the tower now on the UHF band we could change the volume there okay so that's 263 UHF and um, I don't really need to show it but basically you can do all the same thing on the secondary radio uh, so that's UHF VHF covered what the only thing I haven't shown off is FM now and we'll do it on the UFC just because it's easy oh uh, a new option there I can't remember what it means. I did look it up in the manual and it doesn't work in game. So just ignore that and never will work in game. Okay, so the next thing I'd like to show is using the radio in the FM modulation on VHF. You remember we've got a tank out there that's transmitting on 40 uh, FM in the VHF band. So we're going to go back to radio one. We're going to go to M manual. We're going to type in 40 and when I press enter it's automatically going to change to the FM modulation because it's detected that it's between 20 and 80 megahertz in that band. So enter. And you can hear that, that's playing my Georgian soldier wave file now because I have, let me just shut that down a little because we've um, we've tuned in to that, that guy's continuous transmission. So that's how we can transmit on FM. I think that's everything I want to cover. I know I haven't gone over every single option like 
perfectly, but I just wanted an overview of how to use the thing, basically. Okay. Take note, it is a little temperamental at the moment. I had to stop and reload the map halfway through this tutorial because the radio decided to bugger up. So, um, but you wouldn't normally change as many channels as I've been changing and play with as many options. Just one other thing before I forget that's quite relevant. We've got the MCON button, the emissions control button here. It doesn't work at this stage of the Harrier. But this will be implemented eventually to control what radio emissions come from the aircraft. Um, I don't really know why. Presumably it's relevant in a military scenario. And so that's something that's coming. So that's that. I hope that helps and I'll see you later.